Thank you so much. I love to hear the sound of worship to the Lord Jesus on the National Mall here in the heart of Washington. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like the sound of revival. You believe that? I tell you what, I, I work at that building that's just behind us up there on the hill, and sometimes there's some bad news that comes out of that building, but you know what? We know that we've got the best news of all, and here's what I believe. This is the conviction of my heart. God has dreams for America that aren't fulfilled yet. Do you believe that? There's more to come. The best is yet to come because we serve a king who is on the throne and his kingdom is ever advancing. It is advancing. He's just getting started. And I think when it comes to our country, he is just getting started. You know, I'm, I'm here tonight with my wife and our three little kids. We've got two little boys who are eight and six and a little girl who's 10 months old. And my wife and I were talking about this and we wanna bring our kids tonight because we want them to see what a move of God looks like. This is a move of God. It is a move of God. And I just, when I was praying about what I, what the Lord would have me share with you, here's what came to mind. It's from the book of Judges. I bet you know this story, many of you. It's the story of Gideon. Do you remember this story? Gideon is hiding from the enemy and the angel of the Lord comes to him and he says to him, the Lord is with you, Gideon, O oh, mighty man of valor. Do you remember that? O oh, mighty man of valor. Here's the thing though, Gideon didn't feel like a mighty man of valor. Gideon was hiding from the enemy. You know, he was all curled up and hiding. And the Lord said to him, no, you're a mighty man of valor. You're going to raise up. You're going to bless your nation. You're going to help deliver your nation. The Lord's going to do great things through you. Here's what I want to say to you today. It can feel like we're under siege. It can feel like we should be hiding, like we should be quiet, like we should be curled up and, and, and in a ball. And what I think the Lord is saying to us is, rise up, mighty men and women of valor. Rise up for this time. Rise up, the Lord is on the move. And the Lord is gonna release a revival over this nation and it's gonna be released through you, through you. Mighty men and mighty women of valor, when we take our stand in the strength of the Lord, the Lord will release his spirit in new ways and our country needs that. We need the kingdom of God to go forward, the kingdom of his healing, the kingdom of his love, the kingdom of his grace, the kingdom of his peace. That's what our country needs. More than anything else, that's what our country needs. And this is the time for it. So let's stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's be confident in what he's doing and is gonna do through us. And let's say to the Lord, we're available. We are here and we're ready, Lord, for you to use us all over this country. So I just wanna bless you now. I just wanna pray for you and bless you in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you that you are with us. We thank you for the destiny you have for this country. We thank you for the destiny that you have for every man and woman here. And we thank you, Lord, that you look at us and you say, rise up, man and woman of valor, rise up. And so, Lord, now we say to you, we are here for you. We say to you, Lord, that we believe in you. We say, Lord, that you can use us however you wanna use us. And now, Lord, we ask you, would you pour out your spirit on us and on this country in a way you never have before? Would you release the greatest revival in American history over our country? The greatest revival in American history and may it begin here with the people here, here tonight. We love you, Jesus. We give our lives to you, Jesus. And we thank you, Jesus, for who you are and for what you do. God bless you so much. Thank you for having me.